follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Broadcasting live worldwide. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this Tuesday, December 20th, 2022. Wow, we are five days away from Christmas Day, four days away from Christmas Eve, and uh, also, of course, the story of the candy cane. That's right. The story of the candy cane will be back. Our annual tradition here at Have Faith Let It Begin on the 24th and the 25th. And I hope that you will stand by and join us for all those that are doing this for the first time with us. You don't want to miss it because the formal introduction is made by a very special guest. With that being said, welcome to the Tuesday edition of Have Faith Let It Begin. And it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel. Can you say, have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say, have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah! Hi, Noah. Noah. Happy birthday, Noah. Hey, Lynn. Oh, oh, amazing. Hey, let's get those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Noah. Have faith, let begin. When it starts right now. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Let's get started. Our gift cards, your favorite gift on Christmas. You know, a lot of people still debate this. They say, I don't know, it feels like the gift cards are impersonable. But a lot of people swear by them. I got to be honest with you. With the way things are uh, in the last couple of years and how things have been so difficult, uh, whether you know, you're trying to work two jobs and trying to make time to go out and do your Christmas shopping, gift cards are usually the way to go. Um, they make things a lot easier uh, for the person buying and the person that is receiving because it gives them an opportunity to purchase an item that they want rather than buy them an item that you end up seeing on Facebook yard sale sites or, of course, when they rewrap them, forget that you gave it to them and you give it, you get it right back. Yeah, those are the worst. Uh, you know, the one of the things that I think is fascinating over the years as I've gotten older is how often we all... Um, have different needs. Uh, as we get older, you know, uh, I remember being in my 20s, it was all about the laptop. It was always about what type of computer. It was about, you know, what type of movies on DVDs and, of course, what flat screen TVs were on sale. As you get older, you start buying things that are a lot different, things that you need for the house. You know, you find yourself going into the uh, home and good area and buying great soft towels. And, you know, down pillows and new comforters. Yeah, that's right. I'm a dad. And I'm in my 40s. That happens. You get older, your needs are different. Now, don't get me wrong. I still love the Xbox and I love playing video games whenever my kids let me. (laughs) But one of the cool things is that, you know, you're a child at heart. You always uh, will strive to look for something or thrive or get excited to buy, you know, that one gift. I'm a firm believer that you should give yourself a gift every year. Everyone should treat themselves one gift a year. I've actually increased it to two because, hey, your birthday counts. So, again, each year, it's important to treat yourself. It's important to not forget about who you are and what you like. Let's face it. With all the gift cards you're going to be getting anyway on Christmas, you apply it to something that you're going to need or you want to use. I personally have just been excited about all the new adventures that are coming up in 2023 here at Half Faith Let It Begin and look forward to just spending time with my family. Um, I know that sounds like a cliche, but it's the truth. I really look forward to spending time with my family. We've gone through a lot in the last two years. Last four years have been horrible. But you know what? Each day is a new beginning. And I believe that this year, uh, the ending of this year, will close out in a positive way and 2023 will be a better year. Well, that's all I've got for you today. What is your favorite gift that you would treat yourself if you had the opportunity? And what is the one thing that you like the most? Do you like an actual gift or do you prefer a gift card? Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, 
thank you for everything that you have given us. Thank you for the good days and the bad days. We will praise you on both. As we get closer and closer, Lord, to Christmas morning, Christmas Eve, we want to thank you, Lord, for the ability to um, celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior. Also, Lord, we want to hope and pray that each individual out there that is in the hospital or dealing with depression or maybe just feeling as if they're alone for the first time in their holiday season, I hope, and it's my prayer, that you find happiness and that the faith in you, yourself, will grow so that you can find the path of righteousness. Well, that's all we got today. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never forget, have faith, let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730 Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. <laughs>